For a while now, people have been talking about the fourth industrial revolution and how it's beginning right now. I have a lot of things to say about that, but let's go ahead and let's start with a definition. The fourth industrial revolution is a collection of technological advancements like artificial intelligence, 3D printing, and robotics that are supposedly going to cause a massive change in the way we live. Whether it's a decentralized blockchain monetary system like Bitcoin or a virtual reality environment offering an immersive experience, these technologies are going to have a major impact on people's lives. Now, I don't doubt that. I only doubt the emphasis on how it's the beginning of a brand new phase in the Industrial Revolution rather than the end of, a, of the previous one. You know what I mean? First of all, let me break down what the Industrial Revolution was, or rather what it is, since we're still in it. And I'm going to go back to the late 1700s, when there was a shift from items being handmade to them being ma machine manufactured, with advances like steam power and water power. It was a major shift that sprung cities, and so th in this phase, we'll think of steam as the major innovation that separates it from other phases. Now, the sequel to this phase, we have what's known as the Second Industrial Revolution, and this is where electrification entered the scene. It allowed for new innovations like the telegraph and the light bulb to flourish. There were other innovations like railroads that were, of course, significant during this phase. But overall, we can think of electricity as the major innovation that separates it from other phases. Next up, we have the third part of the Industrial Revolution, the dawn of digital. Think computers or systems based on ones and zeros. Now, we all know the impact that they've had and that are behind the information revolution that is ultimately bringing you this video right now. However, I submit to you that we are still in this phase, and it's these binary logic systems that are the major innovation that separates it from other phases. All of the new technologies that are being referenced to when talking about the fourth industrial revolution are still fundamentally founded on digital systems. AI, it's digital. Blockchain, digital. Extended reality and 3D printing, digital with physical hardware. I hate to burst everyone's industrial revolution bubble, but we have not entered a new phase. Don't worry, though. I, I think we're getting close. How close are we getting? Well, I'm looking at things like quantum computing. Quantum computing is innovative enough that it could constitute a fundamental shift in our current technology. I understand that it still uses a binary system, and I'm going to make a video about this, but with quantum computing, the idea of superposition and having both a one and a zero at the same time makes it revolutionary, or shall I say, industrial revolutionary. If it's not quantum, then it can be something else. It's really hard to even predict what it can be. Because it's like someone trying to predict electrical gadgets in the 1700s or computer systems in the 1800s. We don't know what it will be because it's going to be crazy. Anyway, I think you get my point. And I had to get this off my chest. So let me know what you think. And thanks for watching today. Have a good one.